So this took me way too long to figure out, but I added the minutes to this and then added a clear switch uh, to make it easier. Uh, the whole thing. So you turn that on to prime it, then you start from here. There's three different switches that you have to remember to use this. So you turn it on from here, then you start it from here, turn it off from here, and reset from here. So you'll see it counts up. I'm gonna let it actually go all the way up to a minute here. Uh, and zoom out a bit so you can see. Yeah. Here. That memory cell is mine. So, I just have to take it down. so what's happening here is as it puts out power from here, it's going back into a branch and then this branch feeds into the uh, Sorry, no. Yeah, one, okay, you'll see in a second. So, when it hits 60, it will pass through power. So what that does is it puts one into the, uh, sorry, it puts, passes through power into this branch. That's what I meant to say. One goes into the increment counter on here. The other goes into this OR switch. And the OR switch, the other side of it is from here. And that goes in and clears this. Uh, the other thing that this clears, it, it uses a branch, uh, that one, so it also clears this as well. So it's at 1 minute and 36 seconds. So once you turn it off, it stops. If you turn it on, it says at 136, and then turn on this switch, it resets everything. And then you can start again. So there is it. It is, it can count up to 100 in one minute, I guess, which is long enough. I don't need to add an hour counter. Um, this is good. So again, you just turn it off. It's 22, reset. Turn it on, and you can leave it on for 100 minutes. I'm just going to let it go and see what happens. I'm really happy I actually managed to get it up.